Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome to our apartment in Temescal in Oakland, California. We live in 590 square feet. Let me do that again. <laughs> As a landscape designer and someone who loves the natural world, I'm, I'm really inspired by that. I love light, I love texture, I love natural colors, I love kind of the warmth and coziness of laying on a hot rock in the sun, and also like the humbling part of jumping into water, into the ocean and feeling really small. I'm Antonio, Michelle's partner. When Michelle and her mom were looking for a project, we visited this space. I can only really describe it as like a nightmare, right? The walls are open, the electrical's open, the floor is covered in shag rug carpet. And when we came in, I thought, this is definitely not at all. We cannot live here. Nobody can live here. I don't even know where you would start. But Michelle had the ability to look through those open walls and the open electrical and the dust and the terrible paint. She knew exactly what this apartment could be just by looking at the raw materials. If this was a movie, it would have had that swelling orchestral music and like the, <laughs> like the, the zoom in, zoom out effect that, that showed the space and things aligning and, and lighting up. And for me, I was just looking at a construction zone. I was like, what are, what, why are we here? Let me reintroduce you to my <laughs> biggest fan. Yeah, I totally am. And while we were standing on that deck, looking at this place, Michelle's eyes got that look that I'm very accustomed to, which is like the freight train is leaving and she turned to me and she was like, this is it. This is the place, this is the building, this is the project. I wanna work on this. To modernize the space, we actually changed where the old kitchen was, which is the room behind me here. So this, it was a kitchen and a breakfast nook. These were commuter apartments. So you had a full-size living room, a full-size dining room, and then like kind of a small weird kitchen and a breakfast nook. And then you pulled a Murphy bed down in your living room and slept there. So what we did when we were adjusting the space and looking at the plan is actually we decided to put the fridge in the Murphy bed. That was an awesome solution that allowed us to really maximize and make a really big kitchen that felt like it was always here. Clearly in our space, our biggest challenge for us is storage. We have so many objects and so many hobbies. Please do not open any drawers or cabinets. The pantry is our only closet in the apartment, so it was really important when we were designing the space that we maximized all the storage we could. We measured the heights of cans, my favorite olive oil, sauces, tea boxes, and then designed a shelf unit that would fit all those items perfectly. Because of our living room and it literally having access points at almost every wall, we don't really have room for a TV. So our solution to that was to get a projector. And so we have the screen that drops down in front of our front door, which is uh, creates all sorts of problems when people want to come over while we're watching the debates or a big game or something like that. It's kind of a... <laughs> Part of why I've been drawn to landscape in general is that it is this interesting medium with design where in a lot of ways you don't have control. You can say, oh, this plant would look excellent in this corner. I really want a multi-trunk tree with the broad leaves and you know, you can kind of pick, but the reality is it's nature. Like you don't actually have control. You can make informed decisions, but that's kind of the beauty of it too, because there's surprise. It's so fun to visit gardens every time of year. That's why I think I never get bored, even in my own garden watching things pop up and oh my god, I, the honeysuckle's blooming like crazy this year, like no other year before. And so there's something about this element of surprise and then also the element of just not being in control. I think there's something, how do I want to say that, humbled? I think of our space as kind of an ever-changing canvas. I grew up in a house where my mom's motto was basically bring a box to the thrift store 
take a box home. I like to embody that in my space. I think I'm ever changing and my style's ever changing and there's gonna be things that come and go and styles come and go and that's the same with a garden. Plants are gonna change and they're gonna be um, dynamic and interesting and, and as your, your trees get taller, you have a shadier garden and how do you adjust and change for that? And the same thing happens when you're a human growing up and living your life and meeting new people and going to new places. Like you will pick up influences and change your style and that's okay. Just be ready and be flexible for that. And I, I feel like our apartment kind of embodies that in a way because things are always changing. All right. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm recording again. Okay, we're good, we're recording. <laughs>